We are fortunate to be joined by Dr. Jose Almeida, a board-certified, fellowship-trained vascular surgeon, to talk to us about DVT, or deep vein thrombosis. Dr. Almeida, can you tell us what are the symptoms for DVT? DVT, deep vein thrombosis, or blood clots is what we're talking about. Uh, so blood clots in the deep veins, uh, they can present acutely or chronically, and they're very different. Acute means we catch it early, you have a fresh blood clot in the leg, you may have no symptoms, you may have swelling, you may have pain, or worse, it may have gone to the lung already and you have shortness of breath and chest pain. So that's what we call acute DVT with pulmonary embolus. Chronic means that the clot has stayed in the leg for a while and it's already starting to scar in and obstruct the flow. And then we get into chronic DVT, which is really not the right word, is post-thrombotic syndrome. That means that the leg has become damaged, swelling, skin damage, ulceration, decreased quality of life. Uh, people really are hurt by these things. The causes of DVT or blood clots uh, can be divided into inherited or acquired, meaning you have a genetic trait you're either born with or something that you pick up later in life like after a major surgery or major trauma. Genetic defects can be on a spectrum of mild to severe. Uh, they can show up early in life or later in life and the presenting sign or symptom would be a blood clot. They may require lifelong anticoagulation or blood thinners. Acquired would be the most common after orthopedic surgery is a very common hip and knee surgery. You really need to take steps with blood thinners to prevent blood clots. Cause of DVT can be divided into genetic or acquired. Dr. Almeida, can you tell us how you diagnose DVT? DVTs are diagnosed with a combination of symptoms, signs, which are clinical, and then diagnostic tests, the main one being ultrasound. Patients may present with swelling, with pain, with redness. Uh, if it's in the legs, that's a very suspicious of a DVT, then we'll go on to the diagnostic test, which is an ultrasound. And that's a, a device where sound waves are transmitted through the legs, and we can actually see inside of the leg. We can see if a blood clot is fresh or old, and that will guide the, the treatment. The old diagnosis of injecting dye or venogram has been abandoned for non-invasive tests like ultrasound. Uh, so ultrasound really is the cornerstone of diagnosis of a DVT. Treatment of DVT gets a little more complicated. Uh, it depends on whether it's acute or fresh or old and chronic. But when it's acute, we worry about the DVT going to the lungs and causing a pulmonary embolus. So for sure, patients will need blood thinners. Whether we do something more aggressive with a catheter and de uh, develop clot busting, you know, inject clot busting drugs depends on the severity. But blood thinners, which we call anticoagulation, would be the cornerstone of all management. If it's chronic, it means that it's already scarred in the leg uh, three, four, five, six months later, and it'll cause blockage or obstruction. And in that case, yes, we will use blood thinners, but we'll need to do something to reopen the veins with a catheter-based procedure called balloon angioplasty and stenting. DVT, if it presents early, we worry about it going to the lung. The main thing is that they get a blood thinner on board to hold it in place. When it's old and causing obstruction, we need to do something with a catheter to open the veins and keep them open like a stent.